So being a lifelong West Ham fan for my sins um, and having a business partner that um, actually was is one of the owners of the team, uh, when I discovered that the stadium was um, going to be renovated into uh, apartments in 2016, once the, the final season at Upton Park was to be played, um, I saw that the opportunity of having the location of a football stadium as our location was fairly unique. So it was really at that point where I spoke with, with my business partner and asked him about how we would be able to take use of the stadium. And really that's where, well, that's where the journey started. Well, quite simply, you, 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 to, to get people's juices going, we'd, we'd mentioned that it's diehard in a soccer stadium. Um, and really that is, that is the essence of, of the movie. It really is a, an all out, um, fast paced action movie from, from minute one to, to, the, to the final minute. Um, I don't want to give too much away about the plot, um, but it is a, it is a, is a hell of a ride um, and, uh, and many twists and turns. Um, the style um, really it, it harks back to um, some of those really um, big scale '90s action movies that we don't see too many times these days. You know, most of the most of the action movies that we see on screen um, are generally um, superhero movies or, or remakes of, of various older uh, types of action movies. Um, but what we wanted to do here was really try and make this um, gritty and edgy but fun and, and funny and, um, and really, as I said, you know, it touches on, on some of those, those classic 90s action movies where um, you, just, you just are there for a, for a pure, entertaining, fun-filled ride. Uh, the script was something that, that myself and my fellow producers were, were very much involved with from the start. So we, um, we worked um, with the various writers that, that came on to write this script, which needed to be done in, in super fast time because of the fact that we, we needed to, to use the location um, before uh, the property developers were going to come in and, and renovate. So um, we were... We were, we were uh, intensely involved with developing a script that we felt um, could be something that um, that would be fairly fairly clear and and relatively um, straightforward to to the audience um, without it needing too much complication um, but ultimately what what it what ended up developing was it was a really really clever script with a with a fascinating story that that has some um, has some great twists at the end. Scott's great. You know, Scott was was you know super keen uh, right from the first moment we we mentioned the idea and sent him our script. Um, he uh, has his has a very unique style and and certainly the way in which he he uses the the camera in the action sequences was something that um, we'd seen in his previous movies that that we think that uh, he really brought to. To final score, um, and um, and yeah, you know we're we're super proud, and, and I'm I'm sure he is of 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 the movie. Uh, yeah, it was the first time working with with all of those guys, and and um, obviously Dave being the the, the lead and, and being on set, um, you know, most days uh, it really was uh, an eye opener to see uh, an actor who. Um, really is on the rise and his trajectory through the, you know the, in the through the movie business from where he came from and where he is and what he's doing in major superhero movies to seeing um, how how much he brought to, to the the his, the role and um, and his ideas you know throughout the throughout the shoot was um, well you know certainly there are elements to the movie that that he certainly added through his own. Um, through his own thoughts, um, and Pierce Brosnan is, you know, is the ultimate pro, and um, and really, you know, is just a, just a class act, and um, and someone who who I'd love to work with again. 
yeah, as I mentioned, the um, the stadium was it w was somewhere that um, you know I'd frequented since I was a child. So I, I it was a, it was a, it was an interesting experience for me to um, to be able to to be involved with this movie. Um, and th by having my relationship with the business, with my business partner, we were able to to acquire this this location. There were there were certain elements which certainly made it easier because it meant that we didn't have to stray too far from one location. Um, on the other end of the scale, because it had obviously had never been set up as to be made in movies to be made there before, there were there were things that. Um, that we needed to tackle as we went through the shoot. Um, you know, we everything that you see on screen was was shot for real. So you know, the the, the motorbike scene on the roof, and um, you know, shooting. You know, whilst the the games were being played every night was was I think a unique experience for everyone working on that movie. Um, and really, what happened was that the, the movie set actually ended up becoming kind of a community for uh, the cast and the crew. Um, where we were there for you know for, for you know nearly ten weeks working in pre-production and on, on production during the shoot, um, so I, I think that both myself and anyone who worked on this movie will never forget working and and shooting on a football stadium or in a football stadium. Yeah, I think I think that um, it's not, for all intents and purposes, it's not a soccer movie or a football movie. Um, it really is um, a, a fast-paced action movie with soccer in the in the backdrop, which obviously is a is a is a sport that you know is is watched all over the world and in most countries is the number one sport. So I think that that, that, that most people, even if they're not soccer fans, can relate to um, relate to what it's like to go to a to an event or certainly to a sporting event and and understand what it would be like to. To, to be there if, if something like this was happening. Um, yeah. Absolutely. Um, there are some, A, there are some really, really strong female characters in the, in the movie, but, but more importantly, um, you know, it's, it's, it's just, it's, it's a fast paced ride. And, um, you know, I think that the, all audiences really, um, maybe apart from young children, are going to gonna gonna love this movie. So whether they're female or or male, or whether they like soccer or they don't, you know, there's 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 um, there's enough action and heart and comedy and warmth within the movie that that will be exciting for for everyone. Um, they can expect um, to see something they've never seen before. There are going to be action sequences that we know have never been shot on camera before. Um, there is an ending to the movie that um, that may have been reported in the press that um, that is going to be bigger and better than than something they've they, they maybe have ever um, ever watched. Um, but ultimately, they're going to walk away feeling. Um, feeling excited and, and that they've been, been on, on a hell of a journey over that 90 minute period.